Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gerald with Man Auto Detail. Today, we are detailing the 2018 Honda Civic. While the outside is not so bad, the inside has some stains on the seats that we will be taking care of. Hope you guys enjoy the video and if you did, leave a like, comment, share it, or subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. As always, we'll be starting with the tires first. Since my brush won't fit through the wheelbarrow, I will be sure to really get into it with my hand brush. And for all of those tight spaces, I will use my detail brush. Moving on to the pre-wash rinse, probably the most easiest part of the entire process just because this car wasn't all that dirty on the outside. However, there was some iron contamination on the paint that I noticed. While it can't 100% be solved with the pre-wash rinse, I will show you how to get rid of most of the iron contamination later in the video.
Now I know you didn't quite see the transition at first. So pause the video, replay it back 10 seconds, and play close attention. If you caught it, comment down in the comment section and let me know your favorite thing to do in the summer. One of my favorite things to do as part of the job is the foam bath. After the foam bath, a very crucial part is to get your detailing brush and get into all the crevices so that you don't miss a spot. We move over to the hand wash stage of the process. As you can see, I am washing the vehicle with my mitt in a side to side motion while also remembering to flip my mitt. This will prevent any scratches and swirls on your vehicle. Please do it this way as I totally got flamed and made fun of when I uploaded my first detailing TikTok of me washing my car in circles. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. No spot goes unnoticed and I display that here while I wash the door jams with my pressure washer. Earlier, I mentioned that there was some iron contamination on the vehicle. While I didn't get it recorded on camera because my battery died, what I did was I grabbed some Meguiar's Iron Decon and I sprayed it on most of the vehicle and I waited a couple minutes just so the water could turn purple or the solution could turn purple and that's how you know when the solution is working. And once that happens, you can safely wash it off with the pressure washer.
now we are on to the drying process and you see this technique i am doing right here I, I i don't know what it's called i saw it on tiktok and it's very effective it's very clean and it makes drying a lot funner than what it really is but after this we will be on into cleaning the interior of the vehicle We are moving on to the floor mats because they take the longest to dry but before that we are vacuuming it because it has some residue and we want to prevent more of it getting stuck in the mat when we pressure wash it and attack it with our drill brush.
as I move on to vacuuming the seats, I want to be sure I'm paying really close attention to detail as I notice some ash in between the seams of the seat and we want to quickly get it out before it gets in any deeper. Hopefully you guys caught a good look at the stains in the back seat because they will be quickly handled and removed before you can recite all the verses from End of the Road. Shout out, boys to men. No, in all seriousness though, we will be attacking the stains in the vehicle by spraying on some of my Chemical Guys Lightning Fast Extractor, grabbing my drill brush and extracting it with my Bissell.
as I finish extracting, something I want to do is lightly dry the area with a microfiber towel. The reasoning behind this is that with white or cream like covered seats, while you can get rid of the stains on the surface level of the seats, the wet cushion underneath will cause the stains to rise back up and eventually the stains will come back up as well. Something I spent a lot of time doing at my old job is wiping windows and uh, wiping windows is honestly one of the hardest things to do just because if you don't have the right materials or the right spray or if your towel to it there's just so many factors that you could get end up getting streaks or you know more residue in your windows so you want to be sure to have the right materials the right spray and you'll be set to go. The last thing we will be doing on the vehicle is applying some Car Pro Pearl. Essentially, this is just some tire shine to make your tires looking poppin' as you are riding on the road. 